guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd have a bit of a beauty chat. It's been so long since I talked about any makeup or skincare or just general beauty products on my channel, so that's what I thought I'd do today. I'm going to run you through some of my favorites, a lot of which I have used today. They're on my face, so I figured that'd be a good test. I'm really sorry if the lighting does change a bit. I am using natural lighting and it's quite a cloudy day today, so I suspect it's going to go in and out a little bit. So I thought maybe we should start with makeup, because why not? And we'll go with base first. So, one thing that I've been using a lot just to kind of make my skin look really luminous and give it a lot of glow has been from Peter Thomas Roth. And this is called the 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream. So this is an all-over self-adjusting illuminator. And I, what I love about this is that I find that it really helps to get rid of any sallowness in my skin and it just helps to brighten everything up. So that probably is what it means by self-adjusting. On the back it says that it has three shade sensing spheres and because when you actually put it out on your hand it is a pinky colour so I didn't really think it would be something that would help to counteract any redness or any dark circles that I've got under my eyes but honestly this stuff really works and it has a little bit of a sparkle to it so it isn't something I would wear on its own. I have used this not just as a base product or a primer, but also with a highlight as well. I really like dotting it along the high points of my cheeks. I just think it looks really beautiful. But this is something that, honestly, I didn't realize I needed this in my everyday makeup routine, but it has been one of my favorite products to use. And yeah, just such a great one for helping me banish those under eye circles. I don't really use concealer very much. I just put on a bit of foundation and I don't go too heavy with that either. So I feel like it's definitely doing the trick. Then talking about the foundation that I've been using, I have got two favorites and I've actually been combining them just because they kind of create the perfect color match for me when I do combine them. One's a little bit dark, one's about perfect. So the first one I want to talk about is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. So this is called a CC cream, but it's actually a foundation. This is a very, very full coverage. I was so excited to try this. I've heard so many people hype about it and rave about it. And every single time I went to Sephora, it would always be sold out in every single shade. So I went to an event with It Cosmetics recently and they very kindly actually gave me my shade. They color match me. I actually think this is a little bit too dark for me. So I am planning on purchasing the lighter color. But it, so if you can't tell, I really, really adore this. It has a pump which makes it really easy to disperse the product. And it's got kind of a lightweight, moussey texture, but it's got very full coverage, really richly pigmented. It actually looks very weightless and flawless on your skin as well. It doesn't really look like there's anything sitting on top of your skin, and it's very luminous too. And I'm not sure if that's maybe with the combination of that Peter Thomas Roth primer, but I love how those two pair together. And when I have worn this, I've gotten so many compliments on my skin. I've had people ask me what I'm wearing. So that has been a number one winner and it lasts really well all day as well. In terms of applying it, I actually use a brush from It Cosmetics. This is called the Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Number no. 7 brush. So it's quite a densely packed brush, but it's also light and fluffy as well. And I find that it works really well to apply it onto your skin. The formula of the foundation actually doesn't sink into the bristles either. It just sort of sits on top. So that is a great one and it just gives me a really nice finish. Then the other foundation that I've been absolutely loving, and you might have seen me talk about this if you follow my blog because I did do a full Tarte brand review, but it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. So this is a water-based foundation. You actually have to shake it up and then it has a little pipette which dispenses the foundation. And I absolutely love this. So this is the foundation I've been using probably for the past two or three months religiously. This is kind of all I've really been reaching for because again, it has that really nice natural finish. It's more of a satin finish, I would say. And this has more of a light to medium coverage, whereas this is very, very full coverage. So I like that this kind of makes my skin look like skin, but better, I guess kind of like what this does. It feels very lightweight on my skin. And again, it wears really well. It doesn't really seem to cling on to any dry patches or anything like that, maybe because it's more of a water-based foundation. I haven't had any problems with that kind of pilling up or anything over the top of primers, which is wonderful. Then next, maybe let's talk about a few blush products. I've actually got three here. Gosh, okay, who knew I was having such a blush moment? The first one is an old favorite of mine, and it is from NARS, and this is their Gina 
blush and it's just such a pretty peach tone blush. I've really been getting into these and I don't know if it's maybe just that late summer thing. I always feel like peachy tones are more of a summer thing but I've really been enjoying the way that this looks. It works perfectly whenever I'm wearing warmer tones on my eyes and it is so pigmented. It blends out really beautifully. Just NARS powder products are a dream as it is and this has just been a favourite an old favourite that I've pulled back out. Then the next powder blush that I've got is more of a newer one. I think I've been using this for the last, I want to say three months. And it's from Marc Jacobs. And this is their Air Blush in the shade Flesh and Fantasy. And this is what it looks like. So essentially you've got the blush and then on the other side you've got this sort of luminous, very pale rose gold, almost like a shimmer. However, it doesn't really translate to a shimmer on your cheeks. It just adds this beautiful luminosity to your skin. I love this. The um, shade of this is actually very natural. It is what I am wearing on my cheeks today. And I just think it adds that very nice natural flush to the cheeks. Again, it wears really well. I'm very impressed with this blush. And I've only heard good things about Marc Jacobs powder products again. So I'd love to try some of the eyeshadows from the range. I just can't decide on a palette but I have really been enjoying that and then the other blush or at least I well it's called an all over bronze color stick so this is from nude sticks and it's one of their matte nudies I guess cream products so it's in the shade sunkissed can't remember if I said that this is one of their new colors and I got this after going to a Sephora event and I'd really been wanting to try the nude sticks cream bronzer and shade Bondi Bay which I've only heard incredible things about. I think Alana Davison talks about it all the time and I was told this was sort of the new colour. Now I don't like using this as a bronzer just because it's got more of a red undertone to it so I find that it just doesn't really work with my olive skin tone but I do really like wearing it as a blush so I just really kind of dot this on my cheek. Oh. I think I might have <laughs> patted it there, but I kind of yeah, press it onto my cheek and then I use a joyified brush to blend it out and it just looks really natural because it is a cream product. It just blends into my skin really seamlessly and that's just another really beautiful product. I have never used the brush on the other end of it. I'm not, I don't really see the point in those, but yeah, I really do enjoy this and I am definitely going to be picking up Bondo Bay sometime soon. The next favourite is a mascara favourite and I always feel like I have such a hard time finding a good one that doesn't smudge on my brow bone. Unfortunately this one does a little bit so if you have oily eyelids like me then you may want to proceed with caution but the reason why I wanted to mention it is because I really adore the way that it makes my lashes look. It just gives them so much length. The one that I'm talking about is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and this is a really thick kind of natural fire bristle wand which I absolutely love it's really black it really nicely adheres to my lashes it's very easy to take off which is always a win for me I like tubing mascaras the way they look and the way that they don't rub on my brow bone however I always find them a bit of a nightmare to take off so something like this that gives me that really nice length which is something I really look for in a mascara is perfect um, and yeah, if they do this in a waterproof, I would maybe be tempted to try it. I do find waterproof mascara a bit of a faff to take off, but you know, you can't win them all. Then let's talk about lipstick. It's the one that I've got on my lips today, and this one is from Beckett. And this is called the Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Cupid's Kiss. And, you know, it's kind of funny because when I look back at my mum's style, I have really started to, I guess, recognise how many elements of it that I'm taking on for my own personal style. Um, and wearing sort of more nudie brown toned lipsticks was something she wore every single day and it's definitely become something that I've gravitated towards. This is a really nice, as you can kind of see, it's just a bit of a nude hue with a brown undertone to it. And I really love it. I think it complements my skin tone really nicely. This is just such a really beautiful creamy formula. It feels very comfortable on the lips and it has more of a satin finish, richly pigmented, love it. Definitely when it has that satisfying click as well when you shut it, which I always love. Then I do have a couple of fragrance favorites and I don't think you can buy these anymore sadly, but I thought I'd just mention them just because they are so beautiful. They are from the, I think this was called Weeds and Wildflowers range from Jo Malone. So I've got two scents. I've got the Cade and Cedarwood Cologne, or maybe it's Sade. I'm not sure. And then Willow and Amber. And I actually really love matching these together. I think it just creates a really beautiful combination. These are more 
I would say a bit more earthy and slightly more masculine. I really, I think if you like sea salt and wood sage, or wood sage and sea salt should I say, you would really like Caden Cedar Wood. It kind of reminds me of that same sort of a vibe to it. Oh, they're just so beautiful. Um, if you did manage to snap some of the perfumes up from this collection, then you're very lucky because I think it sold out very quickly. I was trying to get my hands on one of the other ones and I just couldn't find it anywhere. It seemed to be sold out every single place that I looked. So next I want to talk about skincare and I want to start with my favorite skincare product of the moment, which is a um, enzyme resurfacer mask from Peter Thomas Roth. So this is their pumpkin enzyme mask and I swear this is so amazing. I actually believe I first heard Anna Newton from the Anna Edit talk about it and I've been wanting to try it ever since. So glad that I finally got it and I've been using this probably two or three times a week. It smells so divine. It actually smells good enough to eat. Oh, it's it sort of smells like you're baking something really spicy in the oven. There's a lot of kind of cinnamon and sweet pumpkin scent to it. But basically this is a chemical exfoliant. So what I do is I kind of put a thin layer of it all over my skin and then I leave it to sit for about four to five minutes. You can do less or more depending on your skin's tolerance. And then I kind of massage it into my skin as I am rinsing it off. And I find that this makes my skin look so clear. It makes it look so much more brighter. It kind of removes any of that dullness. So this has definitely been a big winner for me. And I find a little bit goes a long way as well. I mean, I've used this so many times and I feel like I've barely made a dent in the jar. It has a really nice kind of jelly-like formula or jelly-like texture to it, should I say. So absolutely adore that and definitely will be picking up a second tub when that one runs out. Then in terms of my evening skincare routine or just my daily skincare routine, probably the thing that I start with is a toner. But I've actually been using um, a hyaluronic acid facial spray instead of an actual toner just because I kind of like the whole idea of not having to use cotton pads every single time I'm applying toner. I need to buy some reusable ones. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So I've been using from Bybee Beauty the Mega Mist. So this is 100% natural, certified vegan and cruelty free, which I think is amazing. Their products just sound so incredible and I really want to try more from the range. But I like that this has just got a little spritzer. So I actually apply quite a generous amount of this to my face. I probably use between six and eight pumps of this so I get a nice a layer of the product all over my face and then I just leave that to sink in and it feels really comfortable. I feel like my face just I feel like it has helped to lock in the moisture. I've definitely noticed that my skin has been a lot less dry than it has been in the past. So very much enjoying that. Um, I've only actually, I do have one little bug there. It is quite small, as you can see. So while it is an affordable product, I can definitely see that this is something I'm going to be using up very, very quickly. I do have a second one, but yeah, definitely something I'm going to chew my way through. Then at night time, a product that I've been using a lot, and I do feel like I've noticed some results from it, is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. So this has got vitamin C in it and hyaluronic acid. And essentially what I do is I use this as more of a targeted treatment. Now, I'm 31, and I am getting, I am starting to notice the effects of aging, and so I'm really trying to take care of my skin. And I've noticed that I'm starting to get some, I guess, little wrinkles on my forehead and I want them to be a little bit less prominent. It's something that I'm a little bit more conscious of these days. And so I've been applying this just on my forehead and kind of really massaging it into where I want it to have the most impact. And I have felt that it has helped to soften those fine lines that I've been getting. So really like that. And then for day to day, um, in terms of the thing that I use in the morning, I have been reaching for the quarterly Vino Pure Blemish Control Infusion Serum. So this is what it looks like. This is a really botanical scent to it. It actually smells really nice, very kind of fresh, and it's a, quite a nice sort of slippy gel-like texture. And for me, I don't really tend to get too many blemishes. However, I do find if I am having a particularly bad week, maybe it's stress or something like that, then this really helps to kind of clear things up. And I've been really enjoying the fact that it also adds and locks in that moisture on my skin as well. Then I've just got two hair care products. They're both from Aveda. Um, the first one is a dry shampoo. So this is called their Shampure. And I love this because it kind of reminds me a little bit like a talc, but it's not. Um, Aveda products I have found just across the board to be 
absolutely incredible they're just a sensational brand I really love the whole message behind the brand they're um, very environmentally conscious which resonates quite a lot with my own values so this is a little bit unusual it's not like your typical aerosol dry shampoos so you actually just squeeze the bottle and then you'll get a puff of product coming out so I just like to spritz that in my hair mainly around my roots because I find that that's where I probably need the most help but this is also great just for adding a bit of extra volume too. So I've really been enjoying using that and, and I do find that it does extend the amount of time that I can go in between washes. I like to typically wash my hair every third or fourth day just because I don't want to strip my hair of all of its natural oils. Then in terms of something that I've been using just to style my hair, I've been using a lot of products from their Smooth Infusion range and i found that they have been so helpful in terms of helping to tame my hair. I am half Greek and I have very, I would say more like thicker coarse kind of hair it gets it doesn't deal very well with humidity it gets very kind of frizzy like there's a lot of volume in there sometimes which I want to try and combat and I do have a lot of sort of frizzy flyaways I can't really do much about it it's just how my hair is really but I have found that this has helped to tame it so um, I will link the other products I've been using down in the description box as well but I just wanted to give a shout out to the smooth infusion style smoother. So this is supposed to defend against humidity for up to 12 hours. So what I do once I have washed my hair and then I have towel dried it is I will put a couple of pumps of this through my hair before I blow dry it. And I just find that this helps to smooth out my hair. I feel like, you know, I don't really have too much frizziness, which is an added bonus for me just because that is probably one of my struggles when it comes to hair care. So yeah, that is my other hair care favorite. So those are all of my current beauty favorites. I would love to know what you guys have been enjoying lately. If you've tried any of these products, what you think. If there's anything you think that I should be trying out, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. See you then. Bye. Bye.